The Chicago Cubs can kick rocks. Going after my former team oh! here. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mark the tape. In 1907 and 1908, the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. Well, back to back. Yep. And then they won it again in 2016. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> I fell asleep. Extra inning game. Mm -hmm. Fell asleep on the cat, like sitting on the floor. Fell asleep. 2007, 2008, when I was a Cubby, we were really good. Yeah. Didn't really have the leadership management in place to get us over the hump. I uh, know they don't play the game for you, but it just... The professional feel, the we're going to win attitude just wasn't there. What Chicago did was they went and got a guy by the name of Joe Madden, who had some success in Tampa Bay. And Joe brought this quirky way of managing his team to Chicago. And what he did was he made them believe that they could win championships. And you know what? They did. They won the World Series in 2016. Joe was voted manager of the year three times. And now the Cubs are probably going to fire him. Three years ago, they hosted the, hosted the trophy. They were the World Series cha champions of the world. This is not a bad team, might I add. Now they're going to fire the guy. You sign him for a, you sign a light, you give him a lifetime contract is what you do. You went over a hundred years without winning a championship. You had guys by the, by the name of Andre Dawson and Ryan Sandberg and Kerry Wood and Greg Maddox and... Mark Grace on the D couldn't win. Then you get Joe Madden running Sean the show. Sean Dunstan. Sean Dunstan Cannon. Doug Desenzo. I'll give you Sean Dunstan. Joe Girardi. You got Girardi. Who else? Dick Pohl was on one of those teams. He was a good pitcher. He was. He was one of my minor league pitching coaches. Anyway, the Cubs can kick rocks for even entertaining letting this guy. Ernie go. Banks. Big Earn. Biggest Kulo in baseball. He had a giant butt.